propping them. I mean, this is the very definition of treason by Obama and the political class and the Republican Party. Where is Rick Perry declaring civil emergency? He's just mildly criticizing Obama, saying you should come down to the border and see it for yourself. See it for himself. We broke back on June 16th at Infowars.com and only DrudgeReport.com would carry it the day after. <clears throat> the video of the emergency manager in McAllen, Texas, and of an ICE agent blowing the whistle to us with his voice altered, saying, for months, they bus them in. Mexico's part of it. We put them on buses, pay for their tickets, or ship them wherever they want to go. They're just freed. They're released. 36,000 aggravated felons released in one month last month. I mean, they're releasing child rapists, folks. The government pays to do it. They advertise it in Latin America. This is a plan to fully have tens of millions come, not hundreds of thousands a month, to implode and wreck and bankrupt the country. It's called Cloward and Pivot. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Grew. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from 7 to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2. Available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888 253 3139. Alex Jones here for InfoWars.com. In the month of July, we have got giant specials on everything at MadeIn1776.com. The already discounted Made in 1776 t-shirts are only 1776. We have the new belt buckles that in only two weeks of sale are very close to selling out. There's only 500 of each. We're talking about Made in America belt buckles in nickeled brass. This is more than a summer blowout special. This is a new declaration of independence, but to expand the info war, we're offering the equivalent of more than five months free right now when you get a membership at prisonplanet.tv for a limited time, only $39.95 a year. That's more than five months free off the regular price. Not just this July 4th weekend, but the entire month of July at MadeIn1776.com. Molon Lambe, you can take my gun from my cold, dead hands. In the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the security basketball. Alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. InfoWars building independent media operations. We let the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime Directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. A popular conspiracy theory talk show called InfoWars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulted. Targeting of patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at InfoWars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative destroy Prison Planet TV. You gotta set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out intellectually. It's because you can feel it. Man, when I get home from work, all Betty does is watch her reality TV and then she goes to sleep. I can take her on romantic dates, I get her flowers, you name it. She's just not the woman I married. Oh, Ralph, that's just awful. Does this seem familiar? Are the honeymoon days of your relationship long gone? If so, consider this. The abundance of chemical additives, pesticides, BPA containers, contaminated tap water, and other toxic substances found in our environment. Experts know our bodies are suffering and being thrown off balance, especially when it comes to your natural systems. Forget synthetic chemicals. 
Super Female Vitality brings forward key herbs specifically chosen for women's biology without the use of phony additives. Get your bottle of Super Female Vitality today at InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com, or call 1-888-253-3139. InfoWarsLife.com. Live life healthy. Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. I have sworn upon the altar of God eternal hostility against every form of tyranny over the mind of man. Thomas Jefferson. It's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. We are here Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central, live back Sundays, 4 to 6 p.m. Artists working folks in radio. And we have InfoWars Nightly News, 7 o'clock Central, five nights a week, with all of our great reporters, from Adon Salazar to Jakari Jackson, from Leanne McAdoo to Darren McBreen to John Baum, Marcos Morales, Kurt Nemo, Kit Daniels is coming up in the next hour. Pentagon's threatening to arrest him. We have the official letter. It's national news because he dared uh, videotape some of the illegal aliens on the military bases in San Antonio. So I'll have to defend that probably in federal court. Yeah, they're telling they want to put him in federal prison for six months. That story was up on DrudgeReport.com for three days. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, continuing here uh, with the fact that we know what we're talking about with our reporters here is the headline from the 18th. We originally put out a, a video report on the 16th. Caught red-handed Border Patrol paying to ship illegals deep into the U.S. Exclusive federal government works to keep illegals outside the U.S. while passing the cost to American taxpayers. And uh, what's the report on Drudge today? Uh, the headline is uh, Obama pays to ship 300,000 illegals to private homes in the U.S. And where does that come from? It's in the New York Times, in the last page of a three-page article, amid influx of migrants, Obama is to skip border visit on Texas trip. And then later, it has the border uh, agencies defending that they just bus them in and then give them a bus voucher and let them go wherever they want. The Daily Caller has a boil down on it. Uh, border meltdown, Obama delivering 290,000, it's actually 300,000, illegals to U.S. homes. Okay, look, if you're a new listener, just you need to get something straight. I'm, I was up here on Saturday working, okay? Uh, you understand? I'm not playing games, okay? I've had to have arguments with my family, not, and I've got a lot of smart family, by the way, who've worked in black operations, you name it, to not leave the country, Okay. This is a planned total shutdown of the U.S. If these illegals aren't turned back, and I'm talking in the next month or so, then if this isn't shut down, you're not going to see hundreds of thousands a month. You're going to see millions. And you're going to see a total collapse of resources. It's already happening as far north as New York. Now, by the way, I don't hate these people. If they were libertarians and had skills, I would be all for them. I could care less what color their skin is. I know the geopolitical plan that is written in stone to bring this country and the world down under globalism. The UN is complaining right now in my stack, saying, oh, Australia, you got to open your borders up to anybody. And the U.S., you got to open yours up. You can't go. I, mean, I was reading about uh, African countries. In fact, print me the article, guys. I was reading about African countries where they say all whites out, no whites allowed. Nobody cares if that happens, you know, when Mugabe comes out and says it. If I went down to Mexico and said, give me free health care, give me free welfare, they would laugh at me because no one could do that. If you did that, people would come from all over the world until you collapsed. And again, Mexico is rated in the top five of unstable countries worldwide by our own State Department and CIA fact book. Look it up. CIA.gov. It's one of the most unstable, dangerous places in the world. And I'm literally looking at articles in the Austin American Statesman and the Chronicle, where I live in Austin, going, how dare the racist, evil people not want an open border? Be friendly. This is crazy town, ladies and gentlemen. Crazy town. I like Mexico. I want to be able to go down there and vacation. Can't do it. It's too dangerous now. So continuing, let's get to some of these Obama clips, because 
on July 4th, Obama, the globalist, who says, if you have a business, you didn't build it, who says people that own guns and have Bibles are better clingers. This guy at a uh, citizen ceremony, nationalization ceremony, sits there and shows a bunch of exploited immigrants who had to join the military and you know get arms and legs blown off to, to become citizens, but that shows what, what they had to go through. Now you can just walk across the border and he says, you know what, we need more people. That's what makes this country great. Yes, we have the most open immigration ever. Ellis Island, uh, only a third of the people were let in because if you had diseases or you had a criminal record, you got sent back, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, I've got articles in my stack I'm going to get to. I'm giving you a big picture right now where TB is breaking out all over the country. Drug-resistant, drug immune. What do you think third world countries are like? What do you think they're like? They don't have any social services. They've collapsed. And now if we take all these people on, it collapses us. It's not like we're in a boom time here in America, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> yeah, here it is. Robert Mugabe says no whites may own land in Zimbabwe. This is after 15 years of almost every white family being butchered and burned up in their houses by the equivalent of black Klan. There's this idea that only white people can do racist bad things which is pure crap. They even call it reverse racism when a non-white does something racial. People are exactly the same, folks. You've always had people that think tribally and think at that level. And the Democrats think at that level. They want a bunch of unwashed dregs on welfare with disabilities and criminal records who cannot work to weigh down the system. It's an official plan, look it up, by the Democratic Party, sociology, Cloward and Piven, 1966, to overload the system and collapse it. And if they can't collapse it by shutting off our coal power plants that supply half the power and by having taxes on us that China, India, Mexico, and 169 other third world countries don't have, they will ship in, the, because let me tell you, the cliche that most of these Latin American and Mexican workers are hardworking is true. They've been hardworking and they had to go across 50 miles of desert to get here before. And most of the Mexicans wouldn't go on welfare. They've got sociologist groups trying to figure out how to get them on welfare. So what do they do? They advertise, if you're a big lazy person that wears 6X underwear from anywhere in the world, literally, you know, they bought 43,000 pairs of those. I did last week. Come to America and we're here waiting. You'll go on instant welfare with a free ticket voucher to be bussed anywhere you want. This is a political takeover to get the welfare money by criminal groups in every major city. And the new movies, the TV shows being financed by people like Robert Rodriguez with government funding are openly promoting racial division and race war. And this week coming up, Rodriguez will be hosting Obama here to celebrate their victory against Texas to quote, turn it blue. And it's not that I'm even a Republican, I'm a Libertarian, but the Democratic Party is like brain cancer, folks. It is metastasizing, it is taking over, it is, it is persecuting people politically. I'm getting, into, I mean, they're trying to arrest, they're threatening to arrest my reporter, Kit Daniels, who's coming up in the next hour. This is national news. We have the official letter from the Pentagon for going and reporting on it. I mean, that's how screwed up this country is. I said I would settle down. I got to settle down right now. Let's go to Obama literally urinating on the 4th of July. And remember Pelosi two weeks ago saying, we're all in the same hemisphere. We're all Americans. Really, I can't go to Guatemala and get free health care. I can't go to Nicaragua and get everything free. I can't go to Mexico and get any. It's a bunch of bull. Can I go to Mexico and say, you're racist if I can't come here and have my baby for free? And if I can't fly into your country and just be let in? Nobody does that. So when we come back, I'll play the clips of Obama saying, I'll act alone. He's already acted outside of Congress. That's called dictatorship. And here's the big issue. If he gets away with that, he already got away with turning Al-Qaeda loose all over the Middle East. He already got away with putting NATO over our military. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. Most people know that iodine deficiency has been a crisis around the world. Iodine is key 
to so many of the body's functions, especially the thyroid. I discovered a product being developed by Dr. Group. You now know it as Survival Shield True Nascent Iodine that your body can really absorb. Then, about a year ago, he said, listen, if you think this is powerful, I'm going to come out with rare earth, deep earth crystals. And the results that I personally have had have been life-changing. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. This is innovating, and the best part is it helps fund InfoWars.com, the radio show, the TV show, the whole media operation promoting true libertarian ideas. For a 